Hey guys, I'm out here doing a short video. Uh, what I'm trying to do is capture Jupiter. It's at its closest approach right now, and uh, it's almost uh, fully illuminated by the sun as well. So I should be able to get some good shots on it. Lots of people online have been getting some great shots, and uh, I'm curious to see what I can get with the uh, Celestron 6SE here, as well as the ASI 120 MCS uh, camera. I'm also gonna try using my 3x Barlow. I'm gonna see if I can pull out any detail, or maybe it's just gonna be muddy. Uh, I'm not sure. Nonetheless, I'm gonna try and uh, see what we can get. This is uh, really my first time shooting a planet with this telescope. Um, I know the ASI camera here that I'm using is great for planetary objects. Uh, the telescope can't see Jupiter just yet. If I raise up the camera a bit, you can see. So I, I need it to move to the west a bit, uh, and then I should get a good view with my telescope. Not sure if you guys can see this okay, but right there is Jupiter. If I up the exposure here a second, you can see its moons really pop. So I'm gonna spend some time on this and see what I can get. Uh, this is just with the ASI camera and uh, the Bader Moon and Sky Glow filter. The software that I'm using to capture is SharpCat Pro. I know this program pretty well. I do use it for my time lapses. Uh, I've also used it for a few other things, so I'm no stranger to it. All right, be right back. So this is what Jupiter looks like uh, with a three times Barlow on. Um, it does look a bit muddy, but um, We'll see if I can process something and, and make it look good. I think I can see the great red spot in the top left corner. Uh, right now I'm capturing a thousand frames. I'm at a gain of about 42. And what are we shooting at? 258 milliseconds. I first tried stacking my footage with AutoStacker and processing the images in PixInsight. The end result was okay, but I felt Jupiter was lacking in detail. I then tried stacking and processing in Registax, which was a completely new process for me. And it looks like I was able to pull out more detail with the help of wavelets. The shots with the three times Barlow didn't turn out as well as I hoped, but you can definitely tell it's Jupiter. Maybe using a two times Barlow would produce better results.